At lunchtime, I bought a huge orange. The size of it made us all laugh. I peeled it and I shared it with Robert and Dave. They got quarters and I had a half. And that orange, it made me so happy, just as ordinary things often do just lately. The shopping, a walk in the park. This is peace and contentment, it's new. The rest of my day was quite easy. I did all my jobs on my list and enjoyed them and had some time over. I love you, I'm glad I exist. So hopefully this is a video during which I will not go on and on and on and on about whales and turtles and penguins and about how much I love Boston because I love Boston. Nope, this is going to be a video about a book and about pumping your own gas. How will I transition? Well, you're gonna have to watch to find out. So before I left for Boston, I finished reading The Elegance of the Hedgehog. And it is really quite a wonderful book. The story is told from the point of view of two characters. Um, a concierge who supervises this building where a bunch of rich people live. And she's incredibly smart. She loves to read and loves to learn. But concierges really aren't supposed to go around reading toll stories, so she goes to great lengths to hide it. And um, our other narrator is a 12-year-old girl who lives in the building, and she's also incredibly intelligent. She hates her family pretty much because she thinks they're all snobs. And she feels like she doesn't belong in the world she, in, she lives in, so she's made plans to overdose on her mother's medication and burn down the apartment building. Um, the two eventually cross paths and become friends. And the ending kind of broke my heart. Like, I haven't cried like that since, um, Play story three, pretty much. And if anyone reads it, let me know what you think. And Alice, when Toy Story comes out, you have to watch Toy Story 3. While I was on my way to Boston, Krista and I were on the phone and we were discussing the idea of pumping your own gas versus having someone else do it for you. I live in the fine, fine but polluted state of New Jersey. Like, seriously, I leave the state and I don't know how to function around clean air. Um, and this is pretty much the way getting gas works in New Jersey. You drive up to the pump, you lower your window, stop your engine, and a man approaches you. I've never gotten a woman. Yet. And you tell him which level of expensive, very expensive, and very, very expensive gas that you want, and he asks you cash or credit. Then he takes the pump, sticks it in your car, magic happens. And um, maybe I'm lazy, but I find no flaw in the system whatsoever. I mean, like, if I were in a situation where I had to pump my own gas, first of all, I wouldn't know how to. And I mean, what if someone steals my gas? Like, put the pump into the car, or something happens, and I have to leave because I need to pee. And someone from across the gas booth thing takes the pump out of my car and puts it in their own car and steals the gas. But I wouldn't know because I just think that it's really expensive anyway. And that would be horrible. In the situation where someone pumped my gas for me, that would never happen. Okay, another situation. What if it's late? I'm at a rest stop. I need to pump my own gas and all the gas station people are inside some little far off booth far off in the corner, and I get kidnapped. Someone picks me up, puts me in a trunk, and drives away. Now that would never happen if someone pumped my gas for me. That's just added security. I'm just saying it's like practically perfect in New Jersey. I mean, you get to read a book while someone pumps your gas for you. It's, it's perfect. So let me know what you think about either the book or the idea of pumping your own gas versus having someone else do it for you. And I will see you all as the week goes on.